Well, if you remember, a few months ago I did a review on the Night Fox night vision. Um, these are really inexpensive night vision binocular um, and value for money wise they were well they are brilliant these are still available to buy but in the video I suggested a few things that could be improved on it um, couple being the buttons aren't very uh, they're not, not, not the best quality sometimes turn, turns on by itself and then the battery gets worn out by the time you get there if it gets turned on in your bag another thing is there's a blue welcome screen that's on there that absolutely blinded you when it's pitch black at night and you're scanning for rabbits and there's a couple of other little bits as well but overall a really really good product now the guys at night fox um, listened to some of the feedback they've had from me and other people uh, and they've designed a, a brand new and improved model from this one so the new model is the 120R comes in a box pretty much the same as the the older older uh, version in the box you get pretty much the same again you get a charging cable which is different to the last one because in here is a lithium battery but we'll go more into that later and you also have uh, a neck carrying strap which is the same um, as the last model another thing that's slightly different that you also get included is the head mount you can actually mount this to your head like a uh, set of military night vision goggles and I'll just demonstrate that for you now so it's just simple GoPro mount snaps in screw it up and then it's ready to go just need to adjust it to your own head size and then if you if you're one man band if you're uh, using a night sight or something and you're, you're scanning rabbits or shooting shooting rats and you want to scan, instead of using your hands like the uh, the old goggles, you can just flick these down and scan just normally. So it's just a little bit easier, especially if you're shooting out of a truck or some co confined spaces. The first time I saw this product was at the British Shooting Show. Um, Charles gave me one just to try there and then. Um, and the reason I haven't done a review yet is because I wanted to use the product and really get to know it, um, test out in the field, see what its limits are, and so I could do a, a full honest review like I did with the last one. And I'm very impressed with the new one. Uh, it's far superior to the to the previous model. What I love about it is the buttons. They're just so much nicer than the uh, than the last one. They're rubberized buttons, very positive to click. The on button you have to hold it for a few seconds before it turns on which is great because it means it's not going to turn on in your bag. The last thing you want is when you get to the shoot you find out your night vision has been on in your bag and your battery is dead. So buttons are a definite plus. Another cool feature that they've added is a, a slot for a memory card just in the back there. Hello pigeon. And what that allows you to do is record and also take pictures. So again. For me, that's brilliant because if I'm out shooting rats, so I can film on this as well as using the night sight. What I have done before is filmed through this, well, a mate of mine, uh, Tom has been doing the shooting in the, in the truck. They've got rid of that horrible blue welcome screen, it's now a black welcome screen, so it doesn't uh, screw up your night vision completely. So you've still got most of the function of your natural night vision. You can adjust the brightness on this, which is something that you couldn't do on the old model, again, that one was really hard. Um, if you're stalking in pitch black, you have a scan, you take it, take, take the night vision down and you couldn't see anything just because of how bright the screen was. But this, brilliant, you can adjust it. And another thing is it saves the setting that you're on. So if I set it on a setting that suits me, when I come to, next time to use it, it'll save that setting so I won't need to go through it all again. You've got the normal zoom feature that was on the last one. That's great, all it does is crop the image. Um, I've never really used it, to be honest. I find it's perfectly adequate just scanning um, using the three times magnification that it's set at. This unit is a load lighter than the last one. I'll put the um, I'll put a little, a little drop in here. This is the weight of the old one, and this is the weight of the new one. But you can just tell, this is like a brick compared to this. And that's because this has eight um, AA batteries in. 
so that weight all adds up whereas this is a, a nice light lithium rechargeable battery being rechargeable it means you're not constantly wasting money on Duracells and other brands of battery that may be available uh, so you can just plug this in charges in a couple of hours and then you're ready to take it out in the field battery life on this is really good I haven't yet managed to uh, to drain it we've used this solid rat shooting for about four hours and we've only got down to sort of one or two bars so if you're just out and out pest controlling on a normal evening or night it's perfect more than enough battery life unless you're really hardcore and go solid dusk till dawn but I haven't done that so I can't comment you've got the focus wheel on the bottom same as the last one um, just allows you to focus if I'm shooting a rat down 10 yards away or if I'm scanning a field 100 yards away then I'll be able to to focus it and have a sharp picture no matter the range. Speaking of range, this goes out to about 100 yards, maybe a little bit further on a clear night. You can you can use an external illuminator with this. So I have tried using an external illuminator and it'll it'll pick up as far as the tor as powerful as the torches. Um, I've had this out to 300 yards so far. So what more can you want really? And it wouldn't be that hard to fit an external torch on top of here either using this GoPro mount. I'm just going to roll some footage in now that we took under a rat shoot in the other night. Um, it will give you an idea of what I'm seeing when I look through this. Not only that, the recording image isn't as sharp as what you're seeing through here. So just keep that in mind that when you actually look through the unit it is a lot sharper than the, than the footage that you're seeing. So finally, um, what would I buy out of these two? This one retails at £180 I believe, thereabouts. Uh, I'll put the, the, the current price in the description. And this one retails about £100. Again, I'll put the, the link to the website in the description where you can see the up to date price. Which one would I have? For £80 more, definitely this one. Um, it's just so much better than this one, so much lighter. Um, all the points that I've mentioned are just well worth that extra £80. However, if I was just starting out night shooting and um, using night vision, um, I didn't have a big budget, I just wanted to be able to spot things and shoot them very simply, it would be this one. Um, if you're on a budget, you won't go far wrong. It's really a great bit of kit. But I really do think, value for money, this is the best night vision spot you'll get. So thanks for watching this uh, short review or, or overview, whatever you want to call it, bit of both I suppose. If you, if you did enjoy the video and you'd like a bit more information on this, if there's anything I've missed out, just check the description at the bottom, go to Night Fox's page, and there you'll be able to see full up-to-date prices and description of the product. Thanks again, like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.